Hi everyone, it's Alex from Risk Academy. And this week and the past few weeks, I've been in Russia. I've been actually visiting three different risk management conferences, one of which is ours. Um, the Institute for Strategic Risk Analysis and Risk Academy runs an annual conference uh, in Russia. And uh, th there's a huge positive that I'm noticing. I'm noticing that the ratio of uh, good risk management to style presentations is significantly increasing compared to kind of your traditional um, this is how we do heat maps every quarter and this is how we disconnect it from decision making and this is how it impacts on nothing. Um, I'm really, really glad that the, I think the, the wave in the profession is, is turning. I, I think there is now more focus on risk management to um, many people in Russia, or maybe I should say some people in Russia actually use the terminology risk management one and two in their presentations. So that's always positive. I think there's hope for our, our profession still. We are beginning to talk about proper risk management. And what that means is I, I think quantifying risks uh, for significant decisions is now a given. It, it's uh, generally considered that if you want to do proper risk analysis, you have to apply appropriate risk modeling tools that take uh, into account and account for uh, cognitive biases and all the other methodological limitations of traditional heat maps. And uh, the, other, the other takeaway that I'm beginning to notice, and this is very positive, is that risk management is no longer considered a product by itself, you know, doing risk management for the sake of generating a risk report every quarter. Risk management is now being done to drive something bigger, something more important, to help make a logistical decision, help make a project decision, um, negotiate a budget, or do something that is actually meaningful for the business using the risk analysis. So this is very positive and I hope the same transition is happening in your country. Do write underneath the vid um, this video in the comment section, how is it going in your country? Is risk management still just a, a mindless compliance exercise that the business doesn't care about? Or is it now becoming a management tool? Um, not all is positive, obviously, and in the next video is I'll, I'll share some sad examples and sad, sad experiences. But this is, uh, this is a, a nice trend. I see the change in the, the level of discussion. I see the change in the presentations. I see the change in the requests that we are getting as an institute for training to teach people how to think about risks and how to make decisions with risks in mind and not uh, how to do risk assessments per se. Um, it, just today I had a, a, a meeting with a big farm company in, in Russia and uh, it was a wonderful discussion. We've quickly established that there is risk management one and two and uh, we've agreed that risk management one training is best done by an institute, by auditors who would come in and audit the compliance against those requirements later. So you might as well listen to them because th they know what to expect. And as long as you realize none of it is real, none of it has anything to do with risk management, then you'll be fine. But if you are looking after risk management training that is more meaningful for the actual business, um, if you're looking for something that is meaningful for the decision makers that teaches them why uncertainty is inherent in everything we do, how uh, our mind works when we deal with uncertainty and why we can't just intuitively manage uh, and deal with risks and why we are blind to many risks when we make decisions. Um, if you want to know the algorithm for following uh, your decision-making steps to make sure risks are accounted for, taken into consideration and mitigated along the way, along the way of making a decision, then um, we, we can help you. So by the way, if you're global, if you're looking for training like that, if you want to teach your marketing, finance, uh, business people how to think about risks and how to consider risks when making decisions, then we've got a training course for you. Anyway, more videos like that uh, on the Risk Academy channel. Do subscribe and I'll see you next.